Hello, everybody. Today is April the 21st, 2019. My name is Omenasa, and you are listening to The Ring. Yay! Where life is all about fighting and fighting to conquer, and I know that you will win. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, my topic is blind. Blind. Now, how did I get this topic? So I was at work the other night, and here I was, um, changing diapers as usual to, for all my patients. And I walked into this room because this was a new floor, so I wasn't familiar with these patients like I have been with my other patients. So I was very, very careful and just very intentional. And I walked into this room and I woke the lady up and I told her that it was time for me to get her dressed because the day was about to start. It was about 5 a.m. She said, oh, what time is it? And I said, oh, well, it's a little bit after 5. And she was like, okay, so I'm going to get up and I'm going to brush my teeth and get ready. And I'm look, looking at her like, okay, well, I already know that. And I also know that I'm the one who's going to be doing all of that changing. So I was wondering where her confidence was coming from. I didn't get it, you know. And... um. Anyway, so I go and I said, okay, so let me check you if you're dry. And she was like, I don't wear a diaper. And I, 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 I was just a bit um, t- taken aback by this particular patient. And so she kept on insisting that she was going to stand up and use the bathroom. And I was just wondering how she was going to do this without my help because all my patients are geriatric and all my patients, a lot of them are compacted and, and a lot of them just don't move like they're all in bed you know and then we have to carry them and put them on a wheelchair with a Hoyer lift or with the assistance of somebody else so I was wondering where all her confidence was coming from and I'm beginning to think that you know like she's like she's like hallucinating or whatever anyway this woman just stands up and immediately I was so scared because if you have a fall <laughs> Anybody who works in the medical field knows you cannot afford for your patient to fall. You know, so I was so scared. I was like, okay, I I am about to lose my job. She stands and not only is she standing, but she starts walking. And I freaked out. And then she said, honey, you know, I'm blind, right? And then that's when I remember that when I was being given the report, they had actually told me um, that that particular room and the person in that room was blind, but I really wasn't paying attention because I was such an, such on a go with, um, all my patients. So like in my mind, I'm like, Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So she's the one that they were talking about, but, but my gosh, like all I heard was blind. I didn't hear, um, um, blind, just uh, like, I didn't hear blind, but can walk blind, but can talk blind, but all I heard was blind, you know? So in my mind, all I thought about was handicap impediment, you know, this woman tells me how all I need to do is hold her hand and she'll just walk into the bathroom, just lead her to the bathroom. She does her business in the bathroom and I come back and she was like, okay, so just get me these up clothes. And then when you get me these clothes, then hand me my um, toothbrush. I gave her the toothbrush. She brushes her teeth and then she's waiting on the clothes and I bring the clothes. And then she told me to comb her hair and then braid the hair, like just braid it in one bun. And then she told me to get her sweater. And then she goes and she sits down on the wheelchair and I wheel her off to, to the dining room. And I just couldn't believe it. And I had to tell her, I said, you are amazing and I was so tempted to ask her what is your secret because that somebody like that in a nursing home first of all you are in your 70s you are old um I don't know her story but the people that I take care of are people who are widowed people who are ill people who are dying you understand so this is somebody who for her to be in a nursing home means that she has act that she has lost something, either a husband or, you know, now you could be saying, duh, well, she's blind. Yes, but <laughs> this was this was very, very different. And I realized that blindness is not in the eyes. After I saw this woman. I realize that blindness is not in your eyesight. Blindness is in the mind. 
because this woman was not sitting down feeling sorry for herself. This woman was not bossing me around. I mean, like, like I am used to people peeing in my face. I am used to being cursed out. I am used to, to being told, um, um, hurry up or don't touch me or I don't need your help. This is what I hear on a daily basis. I have patients who, who cooperate and then I have patients who don't. I have patients who cry and you're looking at them and you know that nothing is wrong with them. And I have patients who just bicker, bicker, bicker and scream and complain. I have patients who live in self pity. Oh, my family doesn't come to visit me. Meanwhile, you know that their family comes at least once a week. I have, I mean, so I have seen all of this. Now I'm not saying that, that these patients are, you know, causing false alarms. No, that's not what I'm saying. But you would expect that a woman who is blind, you would expect her to be saying more. You would expect her not to call the name of Jesus. You will expect her to be angry. You will expect her to boss me around because after all, she is blind. You understand, like if there is anybody that should tell me to hurry up and do this and do that, it should be her. So it was just so refreshing, but also shocking because I am so used to a lot of patients just not being appreciative. I'm so used to it. Now, I don't do my job in the nursing field for anybody to say thank you. Now, I do my job because I care about people. But it amazes me how people who are already on the ground could still disrespect people who are trying to pick them from up the ground. It amazes me. But then again, when I think about it as a counselor, when I think about it as somebody who's very realistic, I could see how people could get very, very angry that they are in that position and angry people, anger people, hurting people, hurt people. So I get it. And it's okay. But you know what? When you meet somebody like this, then that's when you realize that, you know what? Everybody does have a decision to be wicked, to be angry, to be bitter. It's a decision. And then my rationale, you know, or given a chance um, or my explanation for all the other people just becomes so thin because my goodness, I was so humble just looking at this woman walking around like she could see. Why? Because in her mind, she could see. Ooh. So my encouragement to us today is there are three ways that we should be Three ways that we should be protective of our sights. Number one, our mind, our perspective. Obviously, something in her mind is on track. Obviously, she has the right perspective. Obviously, she realized that she realizes that her sight is not in her eyes. Now, I do understand that other aspects of her senses have been heightened because of what has happened to her eyesight. I do get that. However, this woman is not an angry person because anger slows you down. This woman got up from that bed, did what she had to do. Why? Because she accepted, I am blind. So I think that a lot of us, our perspective is so um, um, uh, twerped, is so twisted, is so altered. We keep focusing on what we don't have or what we want to have, and we don't focus on what we do have. Now, she has obviously focused on the fact that she has her taste buds. She has... Her ears, she has her legs, she has focused on what she has. It's very obvious. <laughs> it's very, very obvious. And she has decided to make the best out of where she is. And that's the reason why she, she, she can walk is because she's walking in her head. She's working in her mentality. She's working in her perception. She like she's working in her psyche. She's walking in her psyche. She is not on a wheelchair in her psyche. She is not handicapped in her psyche. Her psyche is sound. Oh my God. Number two, your speech. Your profession, whatever comes out of your mouth cannot be blind because if whatever comes out of your mind, mouth, uh, mouth is short sighted, then it's definitely, then you're definitely going to be speaking all kinds of negativity. So if your mind is short sighted, whatever comes out of, 
out of your mouth is also going to be short sighted. Oh my gosh. You know, and this woman kept saying Jesus and she kept saying thank you and she kept saying, oh baby. And she kept saying, I mean, she was just so loving and so tender and so sweet because her mind is right. And therefore, what was coming out of her mouth, please get my sweater. Please do this for me. Please, can you just get that Vaseline over there? Oh, thank you so much, honey. I mean, it was just amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing what was coming out of her mouth, the gentility in her mouth, the humility in her words. And it was just amazing, amazing. And lastly, it was her actions, actions, you know, the thank yous and the confidence in which she had to go and brush her teeth. She had confidence that, oh God, it's another day that you just woke me up. And as far as she was up, she could see. Ah, oh, as far as she was alive, she could see. As far as she could walk, she could see. As far as she's in a place where somebody's taking of her, care of her, she could see. Oh my goodness, blindness is not in your eyesight. It's in your mind. It's, it's in your speech. It's in your actions. Being able to see is not in your eyes. It's not in your poo pills. It's in your mind and whatever affects the mind would definitely show up in your speech. It will show up in how you talk and whatever comes out of your mouth is definitely going to start to carve your actions and the way that you behave. So my encouragement to us today is to open our eyes, the eyes of our hearts, the eyes of our minds, the eyes of our relationship, the eyes of of our professions, whatever comes out of our mouth, the eyes of our behavior, you know, we should see things in the right perspective and we should know that everything that's happening is not against us. It's not happening to us, but it's happening for us. Thanks for listening. God bless you. Bye-bye.